If you're planning to travel this holiday weekend, expect the airports to be busy. Starting today, officials are expecting tens of thousands of passengers to pass through Orlando International Airport. And it comes after a summer of headaches with record flight cancellations across the country. News Six's Ezie Castro spoke with visitors who just landed at MCO. Airport officials say they are expecting over 140,000 people to pass through Orlando International Airport. They're also expecting this Labor Day weekend to be one of the busiest Labor Day weekends in years. So this is your first time at Walt Disney World. Oh, yes. Your first time in Orlando too? Yes. Julie Lewis and her family flying down from Brooklyn to spend Labor Day weekend in Orlando. Her mom, Shauna Solomon, explained this trip has been on hold for almost two years because of the pandemic. That was another key thing. I was like, okay, the kids are back in school. They actually are, are have class today and I took them out for for this whole weekend. According to the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority, it's expected to be the busiest Labor Day weekend in years for OIA, with more than 300,000 people traveling between today and Tuesday. Hanging out with my friends, going to spend Labor Day weekend with them, go to Disney World on Sunday. Not only are the theme parks on the itinerary, Curtis Adams and David Sykes told us they plan to catch NASA's Artemis launch scheduled for tomorrow. I watched it when it was getting, when it got scrubbed. Actually, I saw the uh, live stream there, and I was looking I was looking forward to that. So I'm gonna try to watch this one and see what that's like. Cause yeah, I I love watching space launches, and I love all the stuff that goes on with that. Workers here are encouraging passengers to get to the airport early if they're flying out this weekend. Also, keep in mind some airlines are still dealing with staff shortages. At Orlando International Airport, Ezie Castro getting results. You say.